let's look at the crystal ball six months from now, where do you see uh, mobile in-app advertising, especially in iOS? You know, to me, there are two parallel paths and two completely different worlds we can end up in. There's one path, which is kind of where we're walking down now, where there is an acceptable attribution solution. And we're running in a world actually very similar to what we're in right now. And I mean, what we've been in the past, we're able to run lat campaigns a little more freely with some probabilistic attribution that Apple's on board with. And we get to kind of keep going, you know, with maybe some more restrictions, but a little bit more par for the course than we were expecting. Now that could go the complete opposite direction and Apple could really tighten up and say, there literally will be no probabilistic attribution. It's ATT, it's SK ad network or nothing. And in that case, it's hard to imagine what that world is gonna look like. But my assumption is that if we do go that way, then there will be more pressure on Apple to add more features to SK ad network that let us move in a world that is similar to what we have right now. And I do think we're already seeing that. And I think if we are in that world, it's going to be okay. We're all going to figure it out together and they will add the support to some degree that lets us fun. That's a little bit more comparable to what we have than what we have from SKI network right now. So, I mean, it's hard to say which right now we're going to go down, but there are two very distinctly different worlds that we could be living in six months from now. But I do find comfort in knowing that literally everyone's in the same boat when it comes to this. So no matter which way it shakes out, we'll all figure out a way to push through it. And we just get to sit on the edges of our seats and wait and see which fork in the road we're going to take.